Thanks for checking in. Sure. Uh, is, is Emily Rolf okay? Yes. Doing great. Oh, that's awesome. Like she can talk and, and, and whatever was bothering her yeah. is, is, has been treated. She just, she just posted a, a, a great post on Instagram. So, uh, so we can talk about it. And I just talked to her and she said from an educational point of view that, uh, she'd be happy to share her story. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I'll reach out to her and, and, and try to talk to her also. So what happens out there? Um, so, so can you give us kind of some details? You're standing somewhere. We have about 10 minutes. You're standing somewhere and someone's like, Hey, Sean, there's an athlete over here that wants to talk to you. Or how does it unfold? Something like that. At the CrossFit yeah. Games? Yeah. I mean, you've seen it. It's, you know, the competition finishes and then people come out after the competition and, you know, we check in with everybody and make sure they're doing all right. We're standing there. If people want to come up to us and we seek other, you know, we seek other people out if they need attention. Uh, and so she, you know, came up and showed me her hand. And uh, so she walks right up to you. She she knows she knows you from the years of competing. She knows you're yep. the uh, chief orthopedic uh, surgeon there. Well, what is your title there, Sean? Uh, orthopedic surgeon for the CrossFit Games. Okay. And so she walks up and she's like, "Hey, Sean." Yeah. She, she's you know my shook. hand is blue. Yeah, it was kind of a kind of a blue color and and then you're like were well, you running it through daniel brandon's hair and she's like no that's not why it's blue <laughs> i think is she in, is she pink if it was i pink, don't know some color you don't ruin my story thrilled i'd be happy if it was pink right yeah so um but you know so number one let me just make sure that everybody knows that you know emily did say please talk about this this is you know we've, we've cleared it with her so there's no hipaa violation or anything like that uh she, I talked to Emily specifically, and she said, you know, from an educational point of view, to tell people, you know, uh, you know, tell them what, you know, what the situation was, if in case it ever happens to somebody else, to to seek medical attention for this. So that's where I'm coming from on this. Uh, but yeah, so she had a sort of a, we call it a dusky hand, like a purplish-looking hand, and no pulse, and. Um, and so owner or radio I've seen, I've seen sort of dusky colors from uh, from Raynaud's Raynaud's is the most common somebody can get you know exercise and their fingers get cold and the fingers turn blue like a real blue and and white or red color and um, you know but she didn't have a pulse and so we tried to warm up her hand well, and, meaning uh, you looked you checked here for a pulse can you see where I'm pointing you checked here for a pulse let me just see where you are there where on the uh, wrist <laughs> Let me put you on a bigger. Yeah. So the, yeah. So her, uh, yeah. So I checked, you check for a radial pulse. Yeah. And then you check for an ulnar pulse. Ulnar pulse is over here. Okay. Then okay. Check for a, a brachial pulse. If everybody feels on the inner side that you can feel a pulse on the inner side of your pipe right there, you should be able to feel a pulse too. Okay. okay. Um, so, so she, you know, did not have that. And I said, okay, let's just wait and try to warm things up here and see if the, you know, sometimes it's called vasospasm where the artery just kind of clamps down and you don't get as much blood flowing and, and it just never came around. And um, I didn't, you know, feel comfortable uh, with her exam. And uh, we have an ultrasound machine too now. Uh, so we have an x-ray machine and we also have an ultrasound machine. So we did a Doppler Is that new ultrasound. to this year? That's new this year, yeah. And so we did a Doppler, and uh, we were able to see that her artery was was uh, clotted. So she had a clot in her artery. And, and, what does and, that look like? What, go ahead, Caleb. Sorry, go ahead, Caleb. What does that look like on an ultrasound? Like, what what are you seeing? That is it sorry, like a darker see, color? Or? Uh, I'm just turning up the volume. Sorry, guys. Um, so you don't see flow. You want to see flow of like. If you've ever seen like an ultrasound of your baby or you sometimes see an artery and you'll see like a, a pulse and a blood flow like that. And uh, so it's and, not a um, picture. It's a lot. It's actually a live. It's a live we, shot. We did. Yeah. Like an ultrasound of, of, of your, your, your anybody that's had a child. An right. OK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and, and what caused that, Sean? Is that no, what caused that? Yeah. Uh, no idea. No idea. Do you, do you do you see it very often in young people? Uh, it's it's rare in anybody. It's pretty rare in anybody. Um, um, is it more common in boys or girls? I don't think there's there's a difference.
uh, and so no so no one knows what cause they can they do a i'm gonna say something really silly here but the clot do they take it out and then look at it is there a biopsy on it is there analysis of the clot um so you know from from where we were we sent her to uh university of wisconsin and she went uh you know to uh we we called ahead we said she's she's coming in be be prepared and uh and so they had vascular surgery available, and uh, and so they they took out the clock. And that um, uh, haven't got all the details. I just didn't want to get into all the details. She's recovering and, and doing well, but I didn't want to press her on details of that. Um, but but they took out the clock, and she has blood flowing to her hand again. Yeah, that's awesome. My my my, uh, my sister at a, a young age was a cigarette smoker and was on birth control, and that caused clotting and eventually caused her a stroke. And, and thank goodness she survived. Could so that could so, be a risk factor, right? So it could be it could be something like that. Maybe she was just on birth control. Uh, and smoke. I, I, I don't, don't think I'm Emily Rolf smokes that. though. I don't I'm think she smokes. Emily's personal stuff, but um, right. But there are risk factors for clotting, certainly, and smoking is certainly. Right. Um, and, and what about um, all this stuff? Is, is this tinfoil hat stuff, all the stuff we see about soccer players dropping dead on the field and, and its uh, relationship to the vaccine? Is that is that from clotting also? Um, I'm not I'm not going there with that. Uh, I've heard of clotting with with vaccines and with covid. Yeah. Increased clotting. But yeah. and again, I'm not I don't want to get into Emily's personal background. OK. How long awesome. is the recovery for that, you think? Um kind of depends on uh how how she you know how the swelling how she reacts to the swelling and uh, the surgery uh but yeah you know, it it would be tough to guess i'd have to see like how big the incision would be um you know all, all those factors it could could take you know months and months before she's feeling feeling you know good again so so you know how big it was say that again Do you know how big it was the clot um it was it you know again i I would just say it was a clot. I don't want to get into the size. So, so the educational piece here is if your hand turns blue. See somebody. See a fucking doctor. <laughs> hey, did you know, did you know, would you have guessed right away? Like, uh, uh, there's a clot. Like when you see that, no pulse on either side, hand turns blue. Like you're like, okay, there's a blood flow problem to this part, this hand. Yeah. I mean, that's, again, the most, and I've seen, I've seen Raynaud's and Raynaud's is the most common thing to cause blue fingers. Raynaud's is a uh, situation where if your fingers get cold and somebody has this thing called Raynaud's phenomenon or Raynaud's syndrome or Raynaud's disease that they the vasculature clamps down and it stops you get stop getting circulation it's not a clot it's just that everything just really goes into vasoconstriction we call it, where the, the vessels right. tighten up and usually warming the fingers is the best thing you could do so some people mm. wear gloves and with Raynaud's but that's my that was my first impression and it just did not uh time did not keep going with my impression it kept you know i kept seeing that there was something else going on so when someone's lips turn blue yeah like 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 we've all seen there's the person at the gym who just went yeah, too fucking you're hard blood flow you're losing yeah. blood flow to your, li your lips your, your blood flow you know uh, vessels are vasoconstricting yeah. cyanotic uh, right uh j just to be clear so a clot is you basically have veins and arteries and a yep. clot is is when a, a, a there basically it's like coagulated blood, right? That we would see on the outside. It's just basically a bunch of blood that's sticking together instead of flowing. The viscosity is all fucked up. Yeah, so you could have it in a vein, which is the most common. That's called a deep venous thrombosis and a DVT, if you've ever heard of that. And that's the most common. It's really, really, really rare, 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 rare for arterial clot. Um, so. You know, that's the most common thing we see is a DBT, deep venous thrombosis. Okay. Hey, I really appreciate it. Thank God you're there. You the man. Thanks for coming on. I know you're busy. I hope that um, you don't have to do any more work this weekend. Ice bags and band-aids. That's, that's, that's all we want to do right now. Awesome. Oh, and did Ricky really do five laps? Just tell us the truth while we hit. No, no, I know he did. I know he did. I'm just fucking. I'm just fucking. I know. I know. I know. Uh, okay. Love you, Sean. Good talking to you. Talk to you later. Good Bye. Seeing you, Doc. Uh, he knew it was the vaccine. Just saying.